Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for joining us today at the YMCA YWCA of Winnipeg. It's a real pleasure to be here at the South Y Child Care Centre to see firsthand the great work being done for families. I'm happy to be back in Winnipeg to talk about a very special part of Budget 2017. But let me take a second first to reflect more broadly on how important last week was for families in Manitoba and indeed for all Canadians. La semaine dernière, nous avons dévoilé la prochaine phase de notre plan ambitieux pour le Canada, un plan qui créera des emplois, fera croître l'économie et offrira des opportunités à la classe moyenne et à ceux qui travaillent fort pour en faire partie. Pour nous préparer à l'économie de demain, nous faisons des investissements judicieux dans la formation des compétences, l'innovation et les projets d'infrastructures essentiels, et ce, dès aujourd'hui. Parce que nous savons que la seule façon de faire croître l'économie, c'est d'assurer la prospérité de la classe moyenne. Et une chose qui est au cœur de la notion de prospérité, c'est l'équité. Nous pensons que chaque Canadien mérite d'avoir une chance réelle et égale de réussir. C'est pourquoi nous avons élaboré un plan ambitieux pour aider les gens qui travaillent fort à réussir. Last year, for example, we introduced the Canada Child Benefit, a monthly tax-free benefit to help parents with the high costs of raising kids. And the numbers don't lie. Nine out of ten Canadian families receive more help under this system than under the old system. But we know that there are other important concerns facing Canadian families, including here in Winnipeg. We know, for example, that many parents don't have access to affordable, high-quality childcare. We've all heard stories about parents unable to return to work because the cost of childcare is so high, it's cheaper to stay at home with the kids. Or stories of desperate parents on childcare waiting lists for months or even years, hoping to land a coveted spot. These families are currently struggling to gain access to something that is essential, and that isn't fair. And that's why, last week, our government committed an additional $7 billion over 10 years to support and increase the number of high-quality childcare spaces across the country. This is on top of the $500 million we announced for the same effort in our last budget for this year. By working with our provincial, territorial and Indigenous partners, we will support and create up to 40,000 subsidized childcare spaces over the next three years. The impact, the impact that this investment will have on low and modest income Canadian families is huge. Making sure that parents have a safe, secure, high quality childcare option for their children at an affordable rate could be the difference between living in poverty and returning to the workforce or even going back to school. With Budgets 2017, we're happy to finally address this challenge head on. After all, we know that families are the heart of our economy and the centre around which our communities are built. So when we support Canadian families, we're supporting a more prosperous country for all. Notre gouvernement est fier de faire les bons choix pour les parents à faible et moyen revenu. Nous continuerons à faire passer les familles en premier au cours des prochaines années. Alors merci encore une fois d'être ici avec nous aujourd'hui.